Hello everyone, my name is David, and for this video, it is highly recommended to have a basic understanding on GitHub and Git, as well as any programming language, because we'll be using a little bit of JavaScript. GitHub Actions is one of many tools that can be used for automation. It helps with repetitive tasks such as deployments, testing, and many other applications. Today, I'll show you two GitHub Action workflows to format code. The first one through a PR, and the second one automatically commits and updates the branch with the formatted code. This is the first file, and it is written in YAML language. This is the way we communicate with the runner and tell it what we want to achieve. A workflow is basically a combination of steps that tell the GitHub runner GitHub Actions runner what to do. It is crucial to have the workflows under the that GitHub slash workflows folder because this is the directory that the runner is looking for. Both of these have the same objective which is format code. Um, it is something that many developers struggle with because pretty much everyone has their own style to code. Here I have an example in JavaScript on a messy file, as well as some lines that are pretty much the same. This is many ways to declare a variable in JavaScript. And at the end of the day, all of them are just the same. So in order to avoid this, the solution is format code. We are going to do this um, automatically. So going back to the file i'm going to try to go through all steps so first we name it then we decide when to run it in this case um, we are going to trigger this process whenever someone pushes something to the main branch then we define the job itself we start by adding some configurations first and then I need to tell you that you can run other GitHub Actions inside of your workflow like this one. This is required to allow the runner to access the code base. Next we are going to be using npm or node package manager. So before we do that, we need to set up Node.js. So I'm using version 16 and any version should work as long as it is compatible with Prayer, which is the library we're using to format the code. So since we don't have the node modules folder, inside of our repository we need to install the dependencies first then we make sure that we set the user and email that will link that will be linked to the commit that we create in this case we're using the github actions bot account then we make sure we have all the latest version in all branches. Next we switch to the main branch in case we weren't there and we update it. And this next step is not necessary but it is rather helpful to tell apart the PRs that are being created. We generate a timestamp which is basically the date and time at the run time. After this, we will switch to the new branch, which will contain the previous date, date and time, the previous timestamp. This is set in an environment variable or a variable, and then we use it to name the new branch. Now we use the Prettier library with mpx to execute 
prettier in all JavaScript, JSON, and HTML files. I've created some ugly looking files. This one I already showed them to you. Uh, this is the JSON file, which has two lines of code and they are really long. And this is the HTML file. Back to the script. Um, we now use the usual git process which is add, commit and push. However, I did add some steps in between to make sure we have some failsafe measures and some debugging in case anything fails. And finally, we create the PR. And you don't have to worry about setting up any secrets in GitHub. This one is given by default. So before I go into the GitHub action run, I'd like to say that this file is really important because this sets all of the settings that we want the style of our format to have. So now let's see this in action. I'm going to push a new commit. I've changed this H line here. That's the only thing I'm changing to trigger the GitHub action. And I need to be really quick because it happens pretty fast. So if I go to the action section, this is the the one that it will be running. It will happen pretty fast, but we will see that it happens step by step. And at the end of the day, we have the PR. So let's see. Here I don't have any PRs yet. And now we have this PR. This pull request contains all the new changes. The green part contains how it should look after the formatting. And these red lines are before applying the formatting. This is the JSON file, it now looks like this. This is what it was previously. And this is the HTML file. So that's it for this workflow. Because we're, go we're going to the next workflow and this is not going to be necessary, I'm going to close this pull request. So for the second pull request, for the second workflow, I'm just going to uncomment these lines here. And I'm going to, I'm not going to go through all of the steps because it's pretty much the same as the other workflow. We are not creating a PR here though. So that's the main difference. Everything should be added to the main branch okay so i'm going to create the commit the commented workflow and although the other github action workflow is going to run as well um, this one should run too so we can go to the actions section. This one is the one that we're looking for. So this one has less steps than the previous one. And it has finished, apparently. If we go into the code section, we notice that this new commit has been added now. So 
this is the changes that were added automatically in the repository, in the main branch. So what we have in the PR is now in the main branch. And just to double check this, I'm going to open one of the files, let's say this one, and then I'm going to pull from the main branch. And we should see the new changes here. Yes, and that's it. Well, I, I hope this was helpful to you. And if you liked more content like this, please subscribe and like. And I'll see you on the next one.